in business as in life, things can and do go wrong. Imagine this situation. You are responsible for a major construction project that, after years of planning and careful project management, appears to fail in front of the world's media. A project manager's worst nightmare. In the case of London's Millennium Bridge, it was a nightmare come true. The Millennium Bridge hit the headlines for all the worst reasons. As people walked across the bridge, it started to move from side to side. A bit surprised by the degree of sway. I feel very seasick, yes, but it's not too much further. We can get off the other end. <laughs> the architects say that as a suspension bridge, it was always intended to move, though not quite as much as it has been over the last few days. What was making the bridge wobble? Was it safe? It wasn't a big movement, but people could feel it and were worried about the safety of the bridge. The Millennium Bridge opened in the year 2000 on the Millennium, but that was actually slightly behind schedule and slightly over budget. But in a project of that complexity, that's not so unusual. What was unusual was that when people started to walk across the bridge, it began to sway quite dramatically from side to side. The engineers were sure that the bridge was safe, but the team closed the bridge while they investigated the problem. One of the central parts of a project manager's job is risk management. So that's anticipating all the things that could possibly go wrong and having a plan in place to reduce those risks. And in the case of the Millennium Bridge, they just didn't see the wobble coming at all. While engineers investigated the mysterious wobble, the project managers also had a busy time. After a setback like this, the project manager's highest priority is to manage all the different specialist teams who are working on the bridge, but also to facilitate good communication between those teams. Together, they're going to have to come up with a new plan of what to do, which is going to involve setting new budgets, coming up with a new schedule, and agreeing new milestones. But the most important thing, immediately, is to figure out what the problem was and to find a solution. The investigation was complicated and took a long time. The engineers found that the cause of the problem was the way people's bodies reacted to the very small movement of the bridge. The bridge's slight movement caused people to walk differently, and the change in their walking made the bridge move more. Engineers came up with the solution of attaching additional parts to the bridge to stop the movement. The work resulted in even greater budget and schedule overruns. I don't think it's fair to blame the project managers on the Millennium Bridge for the wobble, because although we've known that lightweight bridges are prone to lateral motion, that phenomenon of thousands of people synchronizing their steps had never been seen before. So it's not the kind of risk you can just predict easily. However, from now on, you can be sure that at the top of every project manager's risk register, bridge wobble will appear. Two years after the initial problems, the bridge finally reopened and it remains a popular London attraction. It has not suffered from any further severe movement. Despite that, it is still known in popular culture as the Wobbly Bridge. <laughs>